So this is a video of the CTI cryopump cross section. Um, this is the first stage of the system that we've been looking at and next down to uh, the second stage which is um, a lot smaller diameter. In this case we're showing so this is the existing heater. It, there's a feed through here that runs up to a clamp and this clamp basically is taking the energy in this cartridge heater and transferring it into this copper block and um, so this copper block um, transfers heat to uh, the first stage uh, for regeneration. The heater then goes through this assembly and then up to this point and then th this next clamp is clamping the, um, the second stage um, which houses the array for the, um, for the gas. So this is um, down to about 10k and um, there is a sensor in that assembly head I'm just going to show you this one because it's a little cleaner um, that sensor which is a Lakeshore um, diode. diode we're going to get that curve and take a look at that um, is actually measuring this uh, top section of that um, system so again you can see this is all the charcoal attached to all these um, arrays and this basically gets filled with um, gas. So water vapor gets trapped, it comes through these um, uh, louvers and gets trapped along this outside edge and all the water vapor gets trapped along here and the, the first stage in this system that doesn't have a heater on it, this first stage basically will heat that whole can up and melt this water vapor. The second stage which is um, 20 watts or, or in that range will heat up this whole array section which liberates all the gases that are trapped in this uh, system. So you can see what kind of a, a area we have to deal with. Um, there's not an awful lot of room here and there's not an awful lot of well there's actually quite a bit of room in here. Is there any reason that there's that we couldn't um, be relatively liberal with it this space? It depends on the design of the pump. Mm -hmm. This one is so called straight the side pump, which mm -hmm. is this, this example, as you can see, is significantly tighter mm -hmm. space-wise. So probably that those are the these are the areas that we'll probably like to see some specific envelope information about where we can yep. where we can um, go on with our design. And I, ideally, again, this is rigid from here all the way up, um, just for consistent, easy manufacturing. Um, so things don't get broken. There you go.